Hey there, everybody. Today is Sunday, August 7th, 2022 in San Diego, California, and I'm Captain Perry here with you. If you're new here, my mission is to build a strong, trailerable, 14-foot mini cruiser sailboat that's watertight and custom-built to cross oceans. I just wanted to thank, in the beginning here, the uh, viewer who sent me off the Amazon wish list these uh, USB charging ports. These will really help to keep my uh, any electronics charged, like uh, tablets for navigation, a cell phone. Uh, I think it was this commenter. So if it was you, Curtis, thank you. They uh, didn't give me the usual note saying who it was from, so, but thank you for that. In this video, what we're gonna be doing is tabbing on the center curved deck panel that I built in the last video. I'm looking forward to tabbing this onto these frames because for a couple months now, these frames have been here wobbly, kind of unsupported at the top. And I have to tell friends and family who come to the shop to be careful not to shoulder it. So we'll be getting one step closer to getting uh, all these more stable. This is a panel that could potentially get a lot of force from a breaking wave on it. So I do really want it to be strong. I'm thinking of adding either one central uh, perpendicular piece on the underside to stiffen it up, or maybe two kind of like you see here I did on uh, the four deck panel. I think that's gonna be important for making it extra strong. All right, let's get to work. All right, well, I've flipped this piece over and given it a good vacuum. There's a piece of wood under here to support the curve. And now I just got a fiberglass this side. It's nine hours later, it should be cured now. That is cool. I think I'm gonna give this a light sanding because even though I use peel ply, you can see that some of it has that smooth nylon feel to it but other has that 1708 stitching. And I think that the problem is that 1708 stitching just sticks up so much. It's hard to get the peel ply to go over it smoothly. And one, one viewer suggested I put the 1708 as the bottom layer and then six ounce on top of that and I'd have a smoother surface. I think that's a good idea. I'll probably do that next time. Well, with some scrap pieces of 1x4 pine in the garage, I've put together these little L pieces. Here's what I'm going to use them for. To make sure this panel stays in one place when I'm working on it, I'm going to put these on here. And then some tie-down straps will run over the bow and tighten it up. That'll not only keep this edge flush with this frame while I work, but it'll also keep these two deck panels butted up together and nice and tight. I'm gonna use the same method for tabbing on this deck panel as I did on the four deck. So it'll be a six ounce cloth, six inches wide, and then over that is gonna go an eight inch wide tab of 1708 cloth. I finished cutting up all these fiberglass pieces and then went to check my front door and noticed a box from Amazon there and some kind person had sent me this fabric cutter cutting tool and he left a note this changed my boat building life enjoy and thanks for sharing the adventure from Dan C well Dan thank you very much this is gonna help me out a lot I've still got a lot of fiberglass to cut 
I'm applying thickened epoxy to the tops of these frames and the rest in the bag is going to be used for the fillets. I thought I didn't mix up much but it really started getting hot in that bag. By the time you stir it up in the cup for one minute and then stir in the fume silica and then get it into the bag, clip the edge of the bag and start squeezing it out, it's already warming up so you really don't want to mix up too much of this stuff. Then we drop the center panel onto there and smooth the fillets. I'm just going to smooth them with the tongue depressor I use for mixing. Typically I'll wait four hours so the fillets harden up a little. They're just kind of more like gel before I put on the fiberglass. But I'm going to try Mr. Sven Irvin's method this time and just go straight from applying these fillets to putting on the fiberglass. So the problem I ran into is that the links of 1708 were 28 inches long and I fully wet them out on my workshop table and tried to stick them upside down there for tabbing and they're just too heavy they wouldn't stick up. So what I had to do was cut them into about 8 inch long sections and then they would stick up there fine. The other lesson learned is don't bother with peel ply upside down. Couldn't get that to stick, but that's okay. This run of fiberglass just won't have peel ply. And then since this was 11 and a half linear feet of tabbing to do, I think maybe the max should be like seven or eight linear feet because it just takes way too long and your, your body gets tired, especially if you're working upside down or bending over, or I don't know, maybe just my post Navy life of Working in cubicle hell has made me soft and I should just be pushing myself. <laughs> but yeah, everything turned out nice. Well, I think in the next video, what I want to do is add in some longitudinal beams, the same kind that I have under the uh, four deck panel here, or uh, this panel. Uh, I really want it to have some additional strength because you will be standing on it or waves could break on it. If you enjoy the project and you'd like to contribute, there's links below to PayPal or Patreon and other ways to give. Patreon members get to see videos one day in advance. Or if you just want to make sure you're subscribed and give a like, leave a comment, that helps too. Alright guys, that's it. I will see you in the next one. Yeah.